thanks for dropping in. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know exactly what's coming. It's time for another seasonal, 3D printable, twist lock trick box. And yes, it's an egg. Like the coffins, pumpkins, and presents that preceded it, this egg won't open just by pulling or twisting the lid. Gaining access requires rotating a less obvious section of the container. Moving it turns a hidden rack and pinny mechanism, allowing the box to open. This twist lock box is slightly more puzzly than the previous versions. For example, unlike the pumpkin and coffin designs, the latches for this egg are fully hidden. No telltale seams. The lid rotates very freely, which acts as a red herring. The section that you need to twist to unlock the box has been moved from the top to the bottom, where it's less likely to be accidentally twisted. In addition to these puzzle improvements, the rack and pinny mechanism has also been updated slightly. The latches are a lot beefier, and the spring no longer needs to be pretensioned quite so much. I think it looks a lot nicer that way. This egg has a few customization options. The center section of the shell is available in three variants. The default option sits flush with the surface of the egg. Depending on the filament you use, this may help obscure the parting line between the center section and the rotating bottom. The raised option gives the center section a very small lip. Pick this if you want the egg to have an easier grip, or to hint at the solution to opening the puzzle. This Happy Easter variant has the same raised surface as the previous option, but with extra text running around the edge. While most of my prints were a single color, there's a lot of room to mix and match filaments for each section of the shell. This design will work both scaled up and scaled down, but keep these caveats in mind. The smaller the scale, the tighter your clearances will get, and the weaker your spring will be. Eventually the friction on these latches builds to the point that they'll only return to a lock state with deliberate force. This could be a feature if that's what you want, but it's a limitation you should keep in mind. This 130% scale print works fine, but the lid feels a little loose, even when it's locked. All parts of this design can be printed without supports. These were all printed with my standard PLA profile. That's 0.2 millimeter layer heights, two perimeter shells, and 15% gyroid infill. If a rough stair step effect near the top and bottom of the shell bothers you, that can be reduced a bit by using even smaller layer heights. Since the design is mostly gentle sloping walls, you can definitely get by with less infill than I used. I think the 15% just gives the design some nice weight. We have some extra parts, so let's assemble another egg. The first step is to test fit the sliding latches. They should move smoothly in their tracks. If they don't, sanding down the sides will help. Next, we're going to test fit the spring. Even with the latches pushed to their outmost position, the gear in the spring won't mesh with the gear teeth in the latches. This is intentional. This is where we pre-tension the spring slightly until the spring slides into place. That looks good, so let's glue the spring in. A little super glue around these edges will work. Just make sure not to get anywhere near the latches, or this box won't be opening at all. Time to glue on the bottom. A thicker gel type glue is best for this step, because chances are the two parts won't match up perfectly. Give the bottom section a good twist to make sure that all the latches move freely but still spring back into place when released. All that's left to do is wait for the glue to set and add the lid. I printed quite a few of these already to test out all the variations in a few different filaments. I really like this marble filament by Dermic, which looks very egg-like and easily hides layer lines. This second copy using the exact same filament looks even better thanks to using the fuzzy skin setting on Prusa Slicer. This adds a little random wiggle to the outer wall, and it just makes the print feel and look less artificial. That's it for this design. Next week I'm releasing a bonus video, a Fusion 360 tutorial that covers how I model these flat torsion springs. It's not my usual video format, so I'm curious to see how that turns out. Until then, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.